What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm counting down the top 10 best new Vans shoes for 2019. I've been doing these yearly videos for top 10 sneakers for a specific brand for the last couple years now and I realized that one brand I always miss out on for whatever reason is Vans. And looking back on it, it's kind of crazy to me because Vans has always been one of my favorite shoe brands ever. In fact, I worked for Vans for years as a retail associate back in high school. So the fact that it's taken me this long to create a top 10 video for Vans is definitely an oversight, but I'm gonna fix that right now. So today I'm going to be talking about some of the best van shoes that are available or had their first release in 2019. There are some shoes on this list that have been out for decades, but they're classics and they're still available in store, so I felt like they were necessary on the list. And then there are others that are special editions or collaborations that just released this year, and some of those are no longer available, at least not for retail. You can buy some of them on the aftermarket. It's also important to keep in mind that the order of this list doesn't really matter. It's all based on my own personal preference, and what you like may be completely different than what I like. But now that you understand the basic gist of the list, let's jump into it with number 10. The Vans Ultra Range Rapid Weld. The Ultra Range Rapid Weld is a brand new silhouette from Vans, and one that I'm really excited to check out. The whole concept behind this shoe was that it was designed for surfers who travel a lot. It's not a surfing shoe, you can't really get it wet. It's an ultra lightweight shoe that's designed to be very comfortable for long trips. The idea of a shoe that's designed specifically for traveling was an idea that I always wanted to play with, especially with some of my own designs, and the fact that Vans is actually going ahead and doing that is such a cool thing. The shoe features what Vans is calling the Lux Liner sock-like construction, which means the internals are completely seamless, which should reduce weight and also feel a lot better against your foot and reduce rubbing. Not only that, but the shoe also features the lighter versions of Vans Ultra Cush cushioning called Vans Ultra Cush Light. Who would have thought? The Ultra Range Rapid Weld is only $80 and comes in a bunch of different colors and materials, so no matter what style you're looking for, you should be able to find it. If you're looking for a light, durable, and comfortable shoe that also doesn't look too bad, the Ultra Range Rapid Weld is a good way to go. Number nine, the Vans Garden Floral Old School. If you're looking to inject a little bit of style and pattern into your wardrobe, the Vans Old School Garden Floral is a great way to go. The Garden Floral colorway of the Old School comes in at a pretty reasonable $65, and if you're not a fan of the Old School, you can also find this colorway and a couple different silhouettes. The shoe features some surprisingly premium feeling black suede accents on the upper and also of course that classic white side stripe. Just beneath the side stripe you've got the garden floral pattern printed on the textile upper. And in my opinion, this is the way to do floral. There's not too much of one color, it's not too loud and crazy, it's a pretty classy looking floral pattern. Not only that, but you can't really go wrong with this classic Vans sneaker, and I think this pairing of the old school with this pattern goes really well together. At number eight, we've got one of my favorites, the Vans Authentics. The Authentic is one of Vans' original and most iconic styles. This classic low top sneaker comes in pretty much every single colorway you could ever want, and if you don't find the colors you're looking for, you can create your own on Vans' website. Out of every shoe that I've ever owned in my entire life, the Vans Authentic is probably the shoe that I've had the most pairs of. I think in total, over my lifetime, I've probably had about 26 pairs. I know that sounds crazy, but they're cheap, and when I worked at the Vans store, they were like 50% off. <sighs> Still pretty crazy. Whatever. It's one of my favorite pairs of shoes ever made, and whether you have a brand new pair out of the box, or whether you've worn your pair in for a couple months, it's still a great looking sneaker on foot. And at 50 bucks, how could you not have 26 pairs? Number seven, the Vans Skate High Reissue Cap. When this shoe first released, rumors started swirling that famed designer Virgil Abloh of Off-White actually designed this sneaker for Vans. Since then, the rumors do seem to have been disproven, but the Off-White Nike inspiration definitely seems to be there. This deconstructed take on the Skate High silhouette comes in at a pretty high $95, especially high for a pair of Vans. The Skate High Reissue Cap features a couple different overlapping overlays and a side zip on the lateral side. It definitely has a very grungy prototype look, which is very popular in today's sneaker culture. And not only that, but it also comes in some pretty nice colorways. My personal favorite is the green and yellow. If you're trying to buy a pair of Vans shoes to make a statement, the Skate High reissue cap is a great way to go. Number six, the Vans Harry Potter Skate High. Let me preface this by saying I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. I've read the books, I know the story, I just, I'm not in love with it, is there? Anything wrong with that? I don't think so. That said, I do appreciate a good collaboration, and I think the Vans and Harry Potter collaboration was actually done pretty well. These skate highs are of course only one of the shoes from the collaboration. There are a bunch of other sneakers available, all with different styles and all with different colorways. I chose these Gryffindor skate highs because I really like the color maroon, and I think it works really well on this skate high. The actual Gryffindor logo, I think I could take or leave, but these shoes aren't for me. These are for Harry Potter fans. This shoe features a yellow and maroon striped side panel and also a Gryffindor 
patch sewn onto the side of the sneaker. Other than that, it's just kind of a normal pair of skate highs. If you're looking for something a little bit more off the wall, as Vans puts it, there are other shoes in this Harry Potter collab that are a little bit more crazy and a little bit more out there. I think there's one sort of gold and black pair, which I don't like, but maybe you will. But if you really want to rep your Harry Potter loyalty or maybe even your Gryffindor loyalty, this $80 pair of Vans is definitely not a bad way to go. Number five, the Vans Comfy Cush era. Comfy Cush is one of Vans' latest cushioning technologies. It's a brand new kind of foam that they put in their midsoles. It's really meant to soften the blow while you're walking. Of course, not only is this era silhouette upgraded with Comfy Cush, but Vans actually added Comfy Cush to a bunch of the sneakers across the lineup. So if you decide you want to try out any of Vans' Comfy Cush shoes, you should pretty much be able to find the style that you're looking for. Just make sure the word Comfy Cush is in the name. I chose the Comfy Cush era for this list because it's a simple and clean looking sneaker. And while it does look a lot like the Authentics, it actually features some cushioning around the ankle area. Comfy Cush foam feels pretty good underfoot and it's definitely a big step up from your standard pair of Vans. However, it's not the softest cushioning in the world and if cushioning is your main goal, maybe don't go with Vans. Actually, if you'd like to know my full thoughts on this cushioning setup, make sure to check out my review of the Comfy Cush Old Schools. I'll leave a link at the top of the screen. The one downside to Comfy Cush cushioning is that it actually makes the midsole of the sneaker a lot thicker. So in some cases, it can actually look like you're wearing platform shoes. Some silhouettes you don't notice the height difference, other silhouettes you do. It really just depends on what you like. If you do want to try out Comfy Cush, it does come at a $10 price premium. So in the case of the Comfy Cush Eras, it comes in at $60 instead of $50. Number four, the Vans David Bowie Old School. This year, Vans came out with a collection to pay tribute to the late David Bowie, and each one of the shoes in the collection was designed after one of his albums. The shoe that I decided to put on this list was probably the most popular out of the collection, and that was the David Bowie Old School based on his Aladdin Sane album. This album was his sixth studio album and features a picture of his face on the cover with a lightning bolt painted over his eye. And of course, that's the inspiration behind this pair of Old Schools. The shoe comes with a full leather upper in sort of a cream or tan color, and then features that same red and blue lightning bolt painted across the midfoot. Not only that, but David Bowie's name is also printed across the heel in red and blue as well. Visually, this might be my favorite shoe on the list. I absolutely love the way it looks. I love this tribute to David Bowie. The colorway came out incredibly well, and the materials that they used on this shoe are much more premium than a standard pair of old schools. There is, however, one downside to this shoe, and that's the fact that it's completely sold out. So the only way you can actually grab a pair is by paying resale. And as of right now, resale prices are hovering between $90 and $150. Which honestly, $150 isn't bad for a resale price of a very popular sneaker. However, for a pair of Vans, it's definitely expensive. In my opinion though, I think it's worth it. Number three, the Vans Yacht Club Old School. I did a video a couple months back at a pretty popular consignment store in New York City called Stadium Goods, and the video was actually about their top 10 most sold sneakers in their store. And this, even though it's still available on Vans.com, was one of their most sold pairs. The Yacht Club Old School is a $60 pair of brightly colored old schools. It comes in green, blue, red, white, and yellow, which is a lot of colors on one shoe. However, this shoe definitely pops, and that's what people who are buying this shoe are looking for. This Yacht Club Old School also features some pretty premium details, like suede on the toe cap and heel, and also a leather collar around the ankle. It might be a loud shoe that's made up of primary colors that don't usually go together, but I think the color design on the sneaker came out really well, and people obviously love it. Number two, the classic Van Slip-On. The Van Slip-On has always been one of the most comfortable and easiest to wear sneakers available on the market. And not only that, it comes at a pretty budget price of $50. The Slip-On isn't anything crazy or even that special, but you can pretty much get it in any color or pattern you could ever want. The most common and recognizable pattern on the Van Slip-On is obviously the checkerboard. And it's a pattern that comes in tons of different colors and tons of different sizes. The Van Slip-On is probably the easiest throw on and go sneaker ever made because it's just a slip on, you don't have to tie any laces, you just slide your foot into it. It's also not a bad looking sneaker and it works in pretty much any casual occasion. And of course the classic slip on is one of the most iconic and still one of the best selling Vans ever made and that's why it's so high on the list. Number one, the Vans Old School. The Vans Old School is by far and away one of the most popular pairs of sneakers ever made. It's also the most popular pair of Vans to feature the iconic white side stripe on the midfoot. The Vans Old School is a go anywhere and do anything sneaker and that's why you see so many collaborations on this shoe because it's just so perfect for so many different things. The Old School is probably my favorite Vans silhouette ever made and it's just such a clean classic look. The Old School features a suede toe cap and heel, a canvas side panel, a leather side stripe, and a leather sock liner. And as you probably figured by this point, you can get this shoe in pretty much every color. There are so many reasons why the Old School is one of the best selling Vans of all time. And for 60 bucks, 
you can't really go wrong. But with that, we finish off the list. Now, I would love to know your thoughts on these sneakers and which one of these shoes you liked best, so make sure to leave those comments in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.